Suppose you want the change in the volume of a sphere. We want to calculate it exactly and then show various approximations we could use. First of all, if you have a sphere of radius 10 and it grows until the radius is 12, what's happened to the volume? Well, the exact volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So if we do 4 thirds pi 12 cubed minus 4 thirds pi 10 cubed, we get 970 and 2 thirds pi. That's the exact answer. Now, a way we could approximate this, this is developed in calculus, is you're essentially taking the surface area formula and multiplying by a thickness. But what shall we use for r? We could use the first radius. If r is 10, then we get 800 pi. We could instead work it out with r equals 12. In that case, we get 1152 pi. Now, this one's too low, this one's too high. We could try averaging them. The average of 811.52 is 976 pi. Pretty decent. There's another way we could approximate. We could use r equals 11. After all, that's halfway between 10 and 12. And if we use 11, we get 968 pi, which is, again, quite close. So the actual answer is in between here. And you might notice the pattern. This is like a left-hand sum. This is like a right-hand sum. Averaging them gives you the trapezoid rule. This is like the midpoint rule. So if we wanted to take Simpson's rule, that's two parts midpoint and one part trapezoid over three, we end up with exactly 970 and two thirds pi. Why is it exactly right? Because if you're doing something that's quadratic, Simpson's rule is a perfect fit.